responders will be out in full force responding to emergencies. Joining us live this morning from Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue is Stephen Myers. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning. Glad to be with you. Yeah. We're interested in what kind of medical calls you've been seeing uh, during the snowstorm in the aftermath. Yeah, I mean, the reality is uh, this severe weather uh, winter has uh, hit us and impacted everybody across the region. But in the fire service, uh, we still have 911 calls um, for people that have medical needs uh, and require highly trained paramedics. Um, so actually, since Friday, we've seen about 850 calls in total. Um, that are bound to happen as the stress of these events can even be challenging for those with limited mobility or breathing problems. Um, yeah, it's a, a challenging time for anybody that's having a medical emergency. Did, did you see a lot of calls for uh, people falling, you know, injuring themselves with uh, some of the slippery conditions? Absolutely. We saw lots of um, slips and falls that happened during this time. Um, I think also thinking about those that are at home that need um, things like oxygen. Uh, we've been working with a lot of home health care takers that, you know, making sure that um, they have the medical necessities in their home uh, is really important. Um, and then also what might be interesting to you is that we know from medical studies that this time of year, naturally strokes and cardiac arrest are more likely to occur. So we do see an uptick in those as well. What is the biggest challenge for first responders right now? I know probably during the uh, snowstorm, it was just getting to people maybe, uh, but as the thaw continues to happen, uh, what's your biggest challenge right now? Yeah, I mean, as anybody that's been on the roadways would understand, uh, it was challenging to get around. Um, so those calls that I'm talking about getting to uh, were not always easy, um, whether it was the down power lines or trees that were in the way. Uh, we had to navigate a lot of problems on the roadways. Um, we also just specifically experienced about 52 motor vehicle crashes um, that we responded to. Most are at like low speed and cause minimal injury, but we see rollovers and cars that go off embankments and, and that could be a much but more um, a scary situation for those drivers. Yeah, and speaking of those drivers, I mean, what should someone do if they do, you know, maybe slide off the road? We're seeing a lot of that in this type of weather. In a crash, uh, you know, give, hopefully their phone is working. What are the steps they should take? Yeah, definitely. If they have their phone, um, they can call. Um, if they're injured, call 911 immediately. Uh, we want to be notified and in route as soon as possible. Uh, make sure that they get over to a safe spot as much as they possibly can. Um, it's also a great time that um, if you haven't already to think about what kind of car kit you have. Um, what essentials do you have in there, whether it's um, you know, winter weather gear so that you're not going to get cold, extra blankets, water, um, and just those basics to make sure that if by chance you're in your car for an extended period of time, um, that you are uh, you have the resources you need. All right, great advice there. Thank you for joining us this morning, uh, Stefan Myers from TVFNR. Take care. Yep, and for more to do on what to do in an emergency situation, uh, just go to coin.com. We'll have some tips on there. Snow and ice have brought down trees and power lines, as we've been telling you.